This is Mary at the Mary Atelier. And yes, I am participating in Acrylic April, which is a challenge by Cinnamon Cooney, the art Sherpa, to do a painting for every day in April. Well, I finished 11 days. Look at that, my scissors, beautiful colors, beautiful colors. So I have fallen way behind. So what I decided, I'm going to make it acrylic April and May. <laughs> or acrylic April forever. I like it acrylic April forever. I got started. So I just start changing my videos to acrylic April forever. I'm go I was outside walking in our yard and I noticed this piece of tree bark piece of tree bark. It's a very interesting, especially on the inside, which is what I think I will paint first. So I'm going to go into fast forward at this point and maybe I'll zoom in a little so that you can see it better. And I'm just going to paint. I will come back at the end and show you the result.
Okay, here's my finished day 12. I dated it 412, even though today is the 27th. I want to keep these in order. So that represents my 12th painting. I'm not unhappy with it, but let me tell you, if you really study a piece of art, it is very detailed. There's a lot. It just nature amazes me. It amazes me. I'm not going to show you again the piece that I painted from because I think it detracts from my painting. You go, oh, does that look like that? Does that look like that? And it doesn't matter whether it looks like it or not. What did you learn? I I learned that there are a lot of lights and darks in here. There's some tonal reds, but some also my, my yellow as it mixed with the black uh, kind of gave me kind of a shade of green in a way. Uh, it's, it's very interesting shades. Uh, different tonal values of grays and how to achieve them between the reds and the yellows and the greens. Those are the four colors that I used. I used the Liquitex Heavy Body High Viscosity, Red Oxide, and the uh, Heavy Body Acrylics over here. So, yeah, it's it's very interesting paint. It's just very interesting to do this. The one thing that frustrates me with this, and it's probably because I'm not using a medium to paint with, is my acrylics. It's warm in here. My acrylics dry out before I can use them all. And I find that I'm either scraping off or uh, trying hard to get the paint down. I, I'm almost wanting to put the paint right down on my canvas instead of on the palette. And I'm wanting to mix with my brush. And I know that's hard on the brushes. I'm using craft brushes. I'm not using... Uh, this one's a nicer brush. I try not to mix with this, but I am trying to train myself to mix with the palette knife. So this is day 12. I'm happy that it got it finished. And yeah, I'll just keep going until I get to day 15. So I've got 13, 14, and 15 to do. I should be able to do that. 13, 14, and 15. Yeah. And I've got today's the 27th, 28, 29, 30. I should be able to finish these. So thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next page.